Anyway, let's get on with our job. We're going to use a wizard. We're going to use an automated uh, assistant to help us build our first site. So the easiest way to find it, I'm going to go from the uh, Getting Started tab. You can also go up here to the Site menu and hit New Site. And that will let you build the site. I'm going to go down here to Dreamweaver Site under Create New. It, build, it brings up exactly the same uh, wizard, so let's click there. And uh, first question it asks us, a site in Adobe Dreamweaver is a collection of files and folders that corresponds with the, with the files and folders on the server. Oh, that's good. What would you like to name your site? Now, what would you like to name your site has nothing to do with the URL or the .com name that you uh, registered with your registrar, with GoDaddy or Network Solutions. Uh, basically, this is just a name that your site will be called. It's also going to be the directory name when we... Uh, try to find a place to put the files that we're going to be working on. So let's call this one Dreamweaver Tutorial. Okay. Next. Now this is the URL that you registered with GoDaddy or with Network Solutions or whoever. I have my site or my own internal web server and we're going to connect uh, since I've already got it set up in the DNS we're going to connect uh, to a site called www.dreamweavertutorial.com. Now, this would be what we put here would be your uh, migrateidea.com or come here and buy stuff.com. But because I've registered or because I set this up in my own DNS server, I don't have to register it. You, if you want to make this available to everybody on the internet, are going to need to register it. So anyway, once you have these two boxes filled, click next. Okay, the question is asked, do we want to uh, designate a server technology at this time? And essentially we're going to leave this one alone. We don't want to designate a server technology at this time because currently we are uh, building a static HTML page. We're not using PHP or ASP or JSP or ASP.NET or ColdFusion, whatever. No, we are building a static HTML page, no database connection, anything like that. So we select no. If you select yes, it will let you pick what server technology you want to use, and then it will set up the stubs on the uh, HTML documents or ASP documents or whatever kind of documents you build so that uh, it'll make it easier for you to use them. So, but for us, no, we don't want a server technology at this time. And we move on. Next. Okay. What development process do we want to use? Edit local copies on the machine and then upload to the server or edit directly on the server using local network. We are going to edit local copies on the machine and then upload those copies to the server when ready. That's the uh, methodology that Dreamweaver prefers. Otherwise you have to build a local share that connects to your web server and then basically you're just using your web server's hard drive. You're not ever, you don't have two copies of your files. So anyway, where on your computer, this is the local computer, do you want to store your files? The default that Dreamweaver builds is a directory inside of My Documents. It creates a folder called My Webs, and inside that folder creates another folder with the name that you named your site. So let's go with the default. My, my Documents, My Webs, Dreamweaver Tutorial. And click Next. How do we wish to connect to the local server or to the remote server? We're going to connect via FTP. Now, you'll notice it changes. We have the possibility of going local network. That means we create a share, RDS, uh, Visual Source Safe, if you happen to have that installed. Mostly, most people that I know of either use local network or they use FTP. So we're going to go FTP. The host name, my internal FTP server, is whitesoftware.com. Now, the folder that I'm going to store this in is uh, the main folder. So I'm going to put a line there. If you have uh, set up hosting with some remote server, some other company like GoDaddy, they will give you a file name associated with your uh, domain that they allowed you to space on the uh, web server for. And if they give you a specific file name to store your uh, website in, that's the second block, or pardon me, the third block down is where you'll put it. So since I don't have that, I'm going to just put in a uh, blank. That means it's going to go in the main directory. FTP login is the name that I use to log in. I'm going to say administrator. Now, you will not use the administrative account to log into your FTP server. Any open FTP server should never, ever, ever have the administrative 
uh, login active. But for this case, since it's internal, can't get to it, I'm going to use administrator. FTP password, you'll want to enter. And then uh, you want to make sure that this little box that says save is checked. If you don't, you'll be entering your FTP password every time you turn around. Beneath that it says use secure FTP. You will not need to check that box. If you do wonder whether or not you need to check it, you would know. If you were going to use a secure FTP server, you would know if you were using that. Someone would have told you already. So, The test connection button allows you to see if you've put everything in right. You hit it. Dreamweaver says yes, you've connected your web server successfully. Tell it okay. Everything good here, so let's click next. Enable check in and check out. If you are part of a large development team, check in and check out is a good thing. That means that you can take a file, uh, any, any uh, HTML document, etc., check it out, work on it for as long as you want. No one else can get a copy of that file to work on as long as you have it checked out. Um, Dreamweaver secures that file. It will not let it go out. It will uh, keep it locked until you check it back in and someone else can check it out. It keeps your team members from accidentally or on purpose overriding all your work. So for a large group, check in, check out is kind of handy. If you are by yourself, checking a file in and out is very annoying. You have to do it every time you get a file. You have to check it out. When you bring it back, you have to check it back in. If you're working by yourself, what's the point? It's just extra work. So we're going to say no. Do not enable check in and check out. We're going to click next. This is a summary of the information that we've entered. Check through it. Make sure you know where everything's at. And then click done. Dreamweaver at this point is going to build our website on the local machine. There it is. And it's going to also uh, make sure that we have our uh, FTP connection. Now, you'll notice up here where the uh, where my uh, cursor is in the list of sites we have Dreamweaver tutorial the site we just created there it is we're looking at the local view there it is and inside that we already have a default page which I've taken the liberty of creating um, the button here you'll notice it says connects to remote host this is the button that turns your FTP connection on and off we're gonna go ahead and click it Notice the green light here. It connects to the FTP server. We are currently connected to the remote server. Now, if we click remote view here, we see a lot of files. All these files are on my internal FTP server that we're connected to. Just to show you, uh, the connection is live. Now we go back to local view. If you chose to edit this file, I'm going to go ahead and get it. To open any file in this list, double click on it. It'll bring it in. This is the WYSIWYG or the drag and drop view. I'm going to go ahead and uh, enter some text. I'm going to save that text. Now, if I wish to put this file onto the uh, remote server, what I do is click up here where it says File Management, Put. And if I click Put, this file will be uploaded to my remote server. Uh, I'll be able to see it from the uh, internet at large. And since it's named default, it will be the uh, file that my website shows up first when everybody, whenever someone goes to that domain. So anyway, that's how you do it. That's how you set up a, a simple website for a static HTML site in Dreamweaver. Um, that's all we have time for today. Thank you very much for putting up with me. This is my first tutorial. I hope it didn't sound too completely lame. Um, if you would, please offer feedback and rate the tutorial. Um, there will be many more hopefully coming up in the near future. We're going to do a CESS tutorial and uh, ASP.NET tutorial. Basically anything that you can do on a web server, I plan to build a tutorial for. So once again, thank you. Make sure you uh, rate my tutorial, but please be kind. It's my first one.